Welcome to another Blocks Builder video. And this video is in a response to a question by Blocks user XR. Hopefully I pronounced your username correctly. And they've asked the question about how to change the placement of the icons and the icons of the carousel indicators. And they've referenced this website here. And as you can see, these indicators are on the left hand side and they've been vertically stacked. So in this video, we're going to look at how to move the, um, the indicators to the left hand side, vertically stack them and center them like this. So uh, this is the basic carousel brick that you get in blocks. And you see the indicators are at the bottom here and we've got next and previous arrows on the left and the right. And we're going to hide those, reposition these and style it all to make it look like something like this as a basic example where we have a um, highlighted active indicator and um, it's nice and styled with a little shadow. Okay, this is only going to take us a short moment to build. It's very easy. So in our blocks project, I'm going to add a one column brick and within that one column, I'm going to add a carousel. I'm just going to resize this column to being the width of 10 and offset of 1. And then I'm just going to add some images to our carousel to make three slides. Right. Now we have our carousel. And I'm going to turn off these next and previous arrows. In the left hand panel, with the carousel selected and expanded, you can actually see the structure of the carousel. We've got one called carousel indicators, our inner container. Now this one actually holds the slides. And then we have our previous button and our next button. Now we can disable the visibility of these arrows uh, by selecting the previous button and selecting the eye icon on the right hand side to make it invisible on all breakpoints. I'm going to do the same for the next one. Right, that's that out of the way and solved. Next, I'm going to select the carousel indicator again. And I'm going to give this a bootstrap class, which is called list hyphen group. List hyphen group. As soon as I apply this, you'll see those indicators move from horizontal to vertical. There you go. Now we want to um, move this indicators um, div to the left hand side and we want to move it up to the middle. We can do that by adding a custom class to the indicators here. And in my case, I'm just going to call it my carousel. Pretty original. And I'm going to style this here by now um, setting all the margins to being zero. With all the margins set at zero, I'm now going to give it a width. Now this will be the, the, um, the, the div for the indicators. I'm going to set it at 40 pixels wide. And I'm going to give at a height of 100%. And when I set that, it's going to put these indicators in the middle. Right, that's all I have to do with that class. Now, I know from experience that these indicators are actually LI, unit, unit, um, LI elements in an ordered list. So I know that we can create a class called My Carousel LI that will allow us to actually style those. So bringing up the class manager, and we don't even have to add this class to our project, we just need to create it. I'm going to call uh, this class my hyphen carousel space li, add that class, make sure you put, uh, leave the spaces intact, that's very important, otherwise it won't work. And now, I don't, as I said, I don't need to add this class to the project at all, because uh, we've got it now on our style sheet, but I can bring it up and any changes I make in here will now be reflected on those indicators. So uh, to make a circle, we really want to start with by making a square. So I'm going to give it an even width and an even height. In this case, I'm just going to do 15 pixels. Change that one to pixels. We've got our nice squares there. I'm going to give it a margin left and a margin right. And they can select more than one by holding down shift of auto uh, so by just tapping the a key they'll be auto and now you can see that those indicators have centered themselves within that 40 pixels that we gave the indicator div before and what else do i want to do i want to set the margin top and bottom i'm just going to give that a three pixel margin just to spread them out a little bit more 
and using the paintbrush uh, tab up here I'm going to give the background color I'm going to make that black right so now we have some black dots you can see the active one is always 100% opacity and the inactive ones are a lighter um, a semi-transparent actually one other thing we want to do while we're in that class the my carousel ally is we're going to actually make these squares round so I'm going to set the style to solid here under the borders I'm going to give it a width of two pixels I'm going to give it a radius of 15 pixels and I'm going to set the color to white so I'm going to do a nice white border on these circles and there you can see the indicators are now round dots now one of the things I'd like to do is actually make sure that this active uh, indicator is stands out a lot more than that and so if you saw in my example that was actually a bright blue I can do that with one more class here and I'm going to call that my carousel space dot active so it's my carousel which is the class that we've been applying all the way through and I'm going to add a space and then it's dot active so if I add that class make sure I'm leaving the spaces intact and the background color here I can set to that bright blue purple bright blue and there we have it right now we have our carousel with our styled indicators on the left hand side and repositioned one thing I want to add is that little drop shadow and this is a bit of a bonus uh, in the carousel we want to make sure that we have the inner container selected the inner container and then I'm going to give it a class called shadow now this is another bootstrap class that will automatically apply a shadow boom and there we have it a carousel with the indicators relocated highlighted styled and with a nice shadow all within a few minutes